Okay, we're going to start with new here. Uh, let's come into the media, and I have already downloaded a few different types of uh, circles and also green map, and all these are from Pixabay. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to put this translucent circle into my canvas and bring that down a little bit and then put it into about 15 seconds duration. Make sure that this globe is center and middle. All right, so we're going to work on this one. Now, next thing here we're going to do is uh, bring the map in. So bring this map in. Now I need to resize this map down a little bit to fit the globe, okay? Not exactly on that because it's supposed to be looking a little bit flatter than it should be. Okay, so this is also map up to about 15 seconds, and we are going to animate this map going one way. So, next thing here is uh, let's put this map sideways. Okay, let's work on this circle and bring in another circle to hold it. All right, we need to find a circle for the map to be masked in the circle. Okay, get the circle in here. And so we have a circle here on top of the translucent. So we're gonna map, we're gonna, we're gonna mask this map into the circle. But before that, this map needs to have a holder. Right, what we need to do is now put a holder here. Um, Mix it out, and the color of the holder should be black. Okay. Now we put this here and leave the circle away for the time being. So we have this. We have this uh, holder, holder, and the map. Okay. Let's put this underneath. It's easier to see. Okay, so this map will start moving from here to here, okay? So what we could do is now, first thing, we have to animate the map, okay? Position, easing, put it to linear. Start point, end point, okay? So the start point is here, the map, and the end point, hold the shift key and the right arrow, and then the map will finish off on the other side. Right. So next step to do here is highlight these two and group them together. Okay. Next thing here is we're going to mask it in this circle. Highlight the circle and the group, right click, mask it. Okay. Now you should be able to see this map moving and now bring back into the translucent circle and preview it okay now we need to do a double image so we need another image for it to move the other way around so what we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate this and now we're going to work on the other one right the second one so we need to ungroup it unmask it open it up again and the group we also need to ungroup it now this time around let's uh, take away this animation and start the animation here for the map so add the animation property position easing here linear okay now the starting point of the first should be on the other side, okay? So that we have an opposite side of the moving of the map. There we go. And as it goes, it finishes here. See here? So do the same thing again. We're gonna highlight this map and the holder. Right click, group, not mask, group, all right? And highlight the circle and the group, right click, mask. So now we have the two, one going this way and then the other one going the other way. Okay. Now, when you put this together, the top one must be lighter than the bottom one. So go to the opacity here, 
change it down to about 70%. Okay. So that when this moves, you can see two things moving together, right? So now we're going to bring this translucent circle so back here. And let's preview it and you'll see it. Here you go. This is how you create your spinning globe effect. It's a 3D effect. Okay. All right. So what you can do now here too is to highlight all these three and then right click and group it together. Now you can add further animations to this spinning globe. I'll show you how. Here, add animation. Um, properties, go to position. Easing, maybe go to linear. Okay, so you got two, right? Okay. Let's say this is the start point, and the globe start from this corner. Okay, and this is the second point. The globe maybe comes down to this corner. And you can still add in another animation, properties, position. Maybe another one more here. Down this way. Here, let's keep here and move this down to the other side. Let's have a look. Yeah. And let's preview and see how this globe is going to move. There we go. We've got a floating globe 3D effect. Enjoy.